Hey everyone, welcome to Homestead Corner. Today I've got a $25 budget prepper pantry haul from the Dollar Tree. able to get into the Dollar Tree and really it was quite full. I was really surprised. Um, I haven't been in it in a little while and it was looking pretty good. Even the toiletries, everything, food, everything seemed to be pretty stocked up. They didn't have a giant variety of food but they did have a decent amount for the stuff that they did have. So let's jump in here and see what we got. So the first thing I grabbed, these are under a dollar at our Dollar Tree. So I grabbed an extra bacon soda just to put back. Bacon soda is one of those things. It's great for cooking. It's great for cleaning. It's great. You could brush your teeth with it. You can do 150 million things with bacon soda. And everybody, I think, should have tons of it on hand. Definitely. Bacon soda is a good one. And this, uh, another one that was under a dollar at the Dollar Tree was iodized salt. So we keep mostly pink salt in our food storage, but iodized salt is definitely important. If you're not getting it, you need it. So the iodine in the salt. So I think it's good to keep a variety of salt. We usually keep pink salt, iodized salt, and um, sea salt. Yeah, that's it. Sea salt. <laughs> Sometimes my brain doesn't fire right. <laughs> and the next thing I got was two bags of the pink salt because salt is definitely important. And they recommend about five pounds per person per year. If you're cooking everything at home, you're going to want to add salt to your foods if you don't have any prepared foods. So salt is really important. And, you know, if you're doing all the cooking from regular ingredients you're going to need that in there and they say to plan on about five pounds per person not that you're going to eat all that but you may use some to salt cure meat or something like that in an emergency you can use it in a bunch of different ways and it is also a multi-use item definitely and the next thing is lentils. They finally got lentils back in, and I was so excited. I grabbed four bags of lentils because our local Walmart has not had lentils in probably six months. Um, and I found some up at a different Walmart, but now they are out as well. And our local grocery store is way more than $1.25 a pound. So... I grab four more pounds of lentils. They will do the same thing as beans. You get that good protein out of there, and but they only take about 20 minutes to cook. So, not bad. And then matches, because I love fire. Gotta have matches. <laughs> Definitely. They had a good, good stock of matches today, so I was pretty happy about that. And with the other stores rising up in prices, Again, matches are worth the dollar twenty-five again. So it's just keeping up with the prices moving because they're just jumping so fast. One thing might not be a good deal this week, but next week it might be. So keeping up on those prices definitely is a hard thing to do in these times, but really important to stretch every penny you have. Really, really. And then the next thing I got is some yellow popcorn. Uh, we love to have popcorn on hand. It makes a wonderful snack and you can, in a pinch, grind this up and make corn flour. So if you've got a grinder, it can also be used that way. So more than one use. I love things that we can use for more than one thing. And the next thing I got, again, prices went up at other stores. So the pineapple was a good deal again. So I grabbed a couple cans of those. They didn't have tons of pineapple, but I wanted at least a couple cans. And I did grab some 2% of the Gossner milk, and this has a um, 2023 expiration date on it. It'll go a little bit past that. Really good to have on the shelf in your pantry. 
milk is one of those things and you can make your own like nut milks and things like that oat milk there's all kinds of milks that you can make in addition to these but these are really good for like cereals and if your kids want to drink milk or anything like that that'll do the trick i notice the whole milk and the um skim milk both of them the dates were only like two or three months out so i didn't grab either one of those um and i went for the two percent because it had the longest date on it and let's see a1 a1 will make steak and you know deer moose whatever you gotta eat it's gonna help any kind of flavoring definitely they had a decent selection of spices and things like that and I think spices are really important I didn't get a ton of them today I only got a couple of flavoring things because we already have a decent supply and let's see the next thing oh I found these little bottles of balsamic vinegar and I have a few recipes that I really love balsamic vinegar in it just gives it that perfect flavor and so I grabbed a couple of these because I don't use tons of it and I thought these smaller bottles would be much better so I'm not not having big giant bottles kicking around for 10 years sometimes we use a lot of it and other times not so much so I like the little bottles and some things that we don't use every day and the next thing is tin foil I think tin foil is a must packet meals over the fire are awesome in case you have to cook outside um, it's great to cover things to keep it warm you can use it for all sorts of stuff um, you can make solar ovens you can do all kinds of things with it it's I think aluminum foil definitely have tons of that on hand so I always try to grab one or two when I can and then I also grabbed these big two and a half gallon um, bags we love these for all sorts of stuff and the Dollar Tree is the only place I can find these there's only five in a box but <clears throat> They are reusable and they are nice and big for all kinds of different projects. And it's good to keep things together in also. If you have a knitting project or something like that, you could just stick everything in the bag or fill up a bag for your kids, for the car, crayons, markers, whatever, uh, coloring pads, things like that, cards, things they like to do in the car. And the next is these little um, moisture absorbers. These work amazing. If you've got um, in your food pantry, if you have a lot of humidity, these work super, super good. Um, I think they're a great price. They last a long time and they collect a ton of water and you can literally see them collect water in the bottom. Also, I these are great in gun cabinets. If you have a big gun cabinet, um, our gun safe or something like that a nice big one these work great in there to make sure that everything is staying nice and dry you want to keep all that stuff nice and dry and last but not least I grabbed another eyeglass uh, repair kit this comes with a cloth the nose pads extra screws little screwdrivers everything is right in here they're nice and small and if you wear glasses even just sunglasses I mean I have had screws come out of there I've had loose screws I always got a loose screw I think <laughs> but <laughs> these are super handy to have on hand in that moment when you need it you could they're small enough you can take these and toss them in your glove bag in any emergency go bag anything like that keep them in your medicine cabinet or whatever wherever you have a small teeny little space you can slide these right in there and they are great to have and that is my $25 haul from Dollar Tree it is not huge but a bunch of things that I wanted to get into the pantry and for a decent price while the price is still a dollar twenty five we never know when this can change it can definitely change again and go up all the other stores are going up so fast get what you can while you can afford it I truly believe that I want everyone to be okay 
and have what they need get all of those things so look around see what you need and if you can get it put up in your pantry definitely or your emergency supplies or whatever and that is it for today if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe I'll see you in the next video bye